All right, here we go. So let's talk about isosceles triangles. Let's talk about equilateral triangles, and we're gonna talk about right triangles. So a lot of info coming at you here. Isosceles triangles, the two congruent sides of the isosceles triangles are called the legs. The angle where the legs intersect is called the vertex angle. So this is right here, angle B would be the vertex angle because these are the legs, and that's the angle where the two legs intersect. The side opposite the vertex angle is called the base. So side AC in this one is your, this isosceles, I'm sorry, is your base. And then angle two and angle three would be called base angles. So we've got legs. Oops, I know how to spell legs. There we go, legs. We've got the vertex angle. And then your base, which is the side opposite the vertex angle and then your base angles. So we've got two uh, theorems here. First is the isosceles triangle theorem, which states if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides are congruent. So if side AB is congruent to side CB, then angle A is congruent to angle C. The converse is true. If two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the opposite sides are congruent. So if angle A stated given if angle A is congruent to angle C, then side AB, which is the side, I'm sorry, well, it doesn't matter. Side BC is congruent to side AB. BC, AB, or CB. All right, so if this angle is congruent to this angle, then this side is congruent to this side. All right, so knowing that information, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try these questions real quick. Take about a couple minutes, pause the video, try it on your own, and then unpause the video to check your answers.
All right, so we've got some answers going here. So go ahead and check, check, check those answers. If you have any questions about any of these, please reach out to someone in your class or you can message me on Remind. Take a picture of the question and let me know what you did not understand so I can walk you through it. Remember, you're using the theorems that we just discussed and the truths about isosceles triangles that we just discussed. Before we jump into equilateral triangles, I'd actually would like you to try the even problems here. So now you're using those truths again. It would help if you drew a picture, that might help. Um, so go ahead and try eight and 10, pause the video, and then you will uh, unpause the video to check your answers when you're done. All right, so here are those answers. Again, do you have questions on any of these? Did your answers not match? Or after looking at the work, are you seeing that you are still not understanding or following why, for example, number eight, nine X plus two is being set equal to 13 X minus 18? That's the case, either ask your peers or please ask me via Remind and send me a picture and I can help you out. So let's dive in here about equilateral triangles. If you didn't already know, as we shift gears from isosceles right now into equilateral, if you didn't notice, equilateral triangles, uh, a triangle is equilateral if and only if it is also equiangular. So you can't be one without the other. So if the measure of angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C, then AB equals AC equals BC. So if the angles are equal, the sides are equal. Equilateral if and only if equal angular. Okay, and same if the sides are all equal, then the angles, the measure of the angles is also all equal. And that's pretty simple uh, to remember for equilateral triangles. So you should be good at this point to try questions 11 through 13 and I will give you answers momentarily. Go ahead and pause and try these questions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some answers ready for you here, some easy peasy stuff. Remember equilateral if and only if, equiangular. If you have questions on any of these, or um, actually what are the equiangular angles? What are the three angles that an equiangular triangle must be? Think about that. Okay, think about that. So, all right, we're gonna move on in just a second. Double check those answers. Again, if you have any questions on these, please ask me in class or via Remind. All right, I've got one last theorem for you and it is about isosceles triangles. And after this, I, you've got everything, okay? You're good to, to do the MML. You're good to do some practice problems that I'm gonna want you to try. Okay, so listen to this theorem. If a line bisects the vertex angle of an isosceles. This is isosceles. If a line bisects the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle, then the line is also the perpendicular bisector of the base, okay? So if segment AB is congruent to AC, so if it's an isosceles, and angle one is congruent to angle two, so that means that this segment is bisecting the vertex angle, then you can conclude by this theorem that AD is perpendicular, it's a perpendicular bisector, to BC and it's a perpendicular bisector. So not only does it create perpendicular lines, but it also bisects it so it makes these two congruent parts. Let that chew in for a minute, take a screenshot, write it down. So for example, in this image here, we need to find x, okay? We know these are equal, so these are this is an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal, so this is also 51 degrees. But since these are set to be equal, we can go ahead and subtract 180 from the sum of 51 and 51. All right, so that is going to equal 78. So it means angle B is 78. This is bisecting, so X has got to be 39 degrees. We can also double check our work. This should be 90 here since this segment is bisecting that vertex angle. 
So we could check this right triangle to double check. It says 90 plus 51 plus 39 make 180. Yes, it does. So all checks out, x is equal to 39 degrees. So here's what I would like you to do. You do have an MML assignment that is um, for class and for a grade, which is the 4.3. But I would like you to also do the practice problems that we would have done in class um, to prepare for kind of like mastery here. And there are 15 questions in homework three. So what I like you to do is I just would like you to do the odds only, okay? And this will be uh, checked for accuracy. So you'll, uh, for self, self checked for accuracy. Um, more like, where are we at? What do you know? What do you still need help with? Okay, accuracy and questions at the beginning of class when we meet um, on block day. Okay, so be sure you do these so that, you know, this is your last call to see if you can operate without the training wheels and then you have your MML. All right, guys, thanks for watching.